Hey guys, what's up? It's me Gretchen from Gretchen's Bakery and I'm so excited to share with you my new recipe today for Bananas Foster Cake. Now not only is this an amazing new recipe, but it is one of the recipes that is going to be in my new book. Yes, I wrote a cookbook if you haven't heard. All the links are below if you want to go ahead and check it out. It's currently for pre-order on Amazon, but it's not going to be actually ready for sale until end of January 2018. But what better way to share showcase the awesome new recipes that are going to be in my book than sharing one with you today. So this is one of my favorites. It is moist layers of banana cake filled with more bananas, rum caramel buttercream, and of course drenched with more caramel sauce over top. So we're going to get started right away so I can show you how to make this awesome cake, but don't forget this is just a preview of one of the recipes of the 125 all new recipes that I've never shared before in this book. So I would love it so much if you'll click through the links below, go to Amazon, check it out. If you want to pre-order it, I would love it. And well, let's just get started because I'm so excited to show you this recipe. Okay, so first let's make the banana cake recipe and you will need sugar, vegan butter or margarine, flour, baking powder, salt, cinnamon and cardamom, mashed bananas, follow your heart vegan egg replacer and water, and vanilla extract. Get the vegan egg and the cold water whisked together and then add the vanilla extract. Now I do like this follow your heart vegan egg for so many of my recipes lately, but I know not everyone can get it. So you can use the equivalent of two eggs with any other egg replacer you like the best, like flax or energy egg replacer will be fine. Next, get the vegan butter and the sugar creaming on medium to high speed until light and fluffy, and this will take about five minutes. I want to just say that I often forget to mention that I'm using this beater blade attachment, so I never have to scrape the sides and the bottom of my mixer bowl. It is a dream come true, but if you don't have one, be sure to always stop and scrape the bowl from time to time for an even mix. Okay, now add the vegan egg replacer and then just mix it out smooth. You're now going to add in the sifted dry ingredients, and I'm just doing that kind of slowly as I'm mixing on low speed. And once it's all incorporated, just kind of mix it smooth, and then you're going to add in your mashed banana. Divide the batter evenly between your greased and parchment lined cake pans and I am in the habit of using my 7 inch cake pans as you probably already know but the recipe is listed for the more standard pans which are 8 inch pans so if you have 8 inch pans it's totally fine but you'll only get two layers. Alright, bake them in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 30 minutes for the 7 inch cakes or until they're springy to the touch when you gently press the centers. And now we get to preparing the caramel dip and drip sauce. And here I have made it super simple by using one recipe for both, so check this out. You're going to need a cup and a half of granulated sugar and one third cup of water. Get it to cooking in a heavy bottom sauce pot stirring until it boils, but once it boils, don't stir it again. If you do, you will have a pot of sugar crystals and all that's good for really is rock candy. So don't touch it after it comes to a boil. And once it turns light amber in color, shock the pot in an ice water bath to stop the cooking. However, caramel is so hot that it will still continue cooking, so the ice water bath is a good idea. Let it sit for about 5 minutes and then dip in your dried banana chips. Now this is an optional garnish of course, but what I did with the remaining caramel that was left in the pot was reheat it to warm if it started to get a little cold. Don't cook it so much as to make it a deeper caramel though, just enough to rewarm it back to a liquid. Add one tablespoon of vegan butter to the leftover caramel dip and a quarter cup of room temperature almond milk. Stir it down and you have instant caramel sauce for buttercream as well as the drip for the final touch of this cake. So just set that aside to cool while you now prepare the buttercream recipe. I'm not going to show the full recipe for the buttercream since I've done that before and I'm actually using my less sweet version of the aquafaba swiss meringue buttercream here and once you get it all mixed you'll simply add a half a cup of that cooled caramel drip sauce and just mix it well. I'm also adding rum extract rather than straight up rum for a more concentrated flavor. Now set this aside for a minute and we're going to make the caramelized banana filling. 
Are you still with me? I know this is a lot, but it's so worth it. All you need is a couple of tablespoons of light brown sugar and a couple of tablespoons of vegan butter, three or four bananas, and a heavy bottom saute pan. Oh yeah, and some rum to make Sir Richard Foster a proud man. Melt the butter with a tablespoon of the brown sugar over a high heat, and then add the banana slices. Add the other tablespoon of brown sugar, cook them until they're starting to caramelize, and then flip them over to brown on the other side. And then hit it with a nice dose of rum. The alcohol cooks off, leaving behind a wonderful depth of flavor from that rum. And of course, you can leave it out, but it really is what makes the bananas foster. Well, bananas foster. So transfer them to a sheet pan to cool, and now to assemble this cake, finally. Again, I know this is a lot, but any building on recipes project is a lot, and it's always worth it. So just watch this amazingness. this cake it is so good you guys you are definitely going to want to try this cake I know it's a lot of steps and it's a lot of different recipes to get to the final but it, it is so worth it I do just want to say one thing that as I was formulating the idea for this cake in my mind my one thing that kept sticking out was like I just don't want it to be too super sweet whenever you're getting into making anything with buttercream of course that right there is a sweeter icing and then caramel on top of that is nothing but sugar. So I was like, oh, I just don't want this to be so sweet that you lose all the flavors, the different flavors that are at play in here. And I have to say, nailed it. So the one thing that I did do um, to make sure that it wasn't going to be super sweet was I used my Aquafaba Swiss Meringue Buttercream, which right off the bat is just a very less sweet buttercream. It's silky smooth. It has such an adult flavor to it, and it worked perfectly with the addition of the caramel sauce and the uh, rum extract which is definitely an optional part but for bananas foster it does include rum so you might want to actually incorporate that it's not overpowering it has just a hint of rum and then of course my caramelized bananas so bananas are super sweet already on their own so I use just a very little bit of sugar to sort of aid in that caramelization the banana cake layers so moist and just packed with banana I swear you guys if I picked one 
perfect recipe to showcase my new cookbook. It definitely was the winner right here with this one. All right, so as always, thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a like and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'm trying to get on like a twice a week upload schedule for the baking videos and um, definitely click the bell little thingy notification so that you get notified whenever I do upload new videos. You are not going to want to miss what I have coming up for you. It just really keeps getting better. I don't know if this cookbook re-sparked my creative passion, but just wait till you see what else is coming up next week. So, all right, you guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for being here with me and for all your support, and I'll see you again soon.